let's understand regression with an example of a real world problem which is housing price prediction that is you want to build an ml solution that will predict the price of a house this particular column in this this is the data set for this particular problem in this one you want to predict the price of the house given various different characteristics about the house or the locality like these are all the different information that is available for each of the houses and initially in the data set you will also have the price information available also now as we saw earlier the ml algorithm will learn this data that is it will learn from this information about each of these houses and maps it to a price maps it to the respective prices you have in this data the machine learning algorithm learns this relationship once it has learned it for a new house entity in real time you will provide all this data here all the different information about a given house and the ml solution will be predicting this quantity earlier in the training data set this is what we call as the training data set in this data set the house price information was provided but for a new data set you will provide only the information about the houses and not the price the ml solution that you are going to build will predict it for you since the price is a numeric quantity here we call it as regression and the trained machine learning model that does the prediction is called the regressor let me make it a bit more clear so you have an ml algorithm you also have the data once trained when it is trained you get a ml model on training on completion of the training when your problem is a regression problem this ml model is also called a regressor this is the terminology now what are these ml algorithms some of the very useful ml algorithms that can be used for a regression purpose is shown here there's a small correction here the naive bayes algorithm that is written out over here this is primarily used for classification problems not regression which brings us to the next topic which is the next type of problem that we are going to look at is classification the problem setting for a classification problem is very similar to a regression problem here also you have a training data set here also you have all these different features available for you in order to predict a categorical variable so here this data set represents a spam detection data you have various information such as the number of images in your email number of links in your email sales placement is present or not offer is present or not and presence of various spam keywords in the email so all this data is present this data can be used to predict if a given email is spam or not so this particular field here can take only two values 0 or 1 for a classification problem you might have more than two categories also but definitely you will definitely have a limited number of categories that you want to predict so once your machine learning model trains and this is your training data set once your model learns from this data set given a new record there you will provide only this information given a new record that is a given a new email your machine learning model will predict if a given email is spam or not that is how a typical classification problem works and the machine learning model in this case is referred to as a classifier the previous case we called it as a regressor here it is called as a classifier and there are various different types of machine learning algorithms that can do this job some of the examples are shown over here here you see naive bias we can use naive bias for classification purpose you will also see logistic regression and some of the algorithms that can be used for regression problems can also be used for classification purposes as well